Just thought I'd let you know how the video is doing. It's now at 22,000. <laughs> So there are three main things I look for when I'm doing a new TikTok, a viral TikTok series. Okay. Number one, the concept has to be interesting to me. That's first and foremost. I just want to make videos about what I'm interested in. Next. And it needs to have a universal understanding. It doesn't have to have a universal understanding, but this is what makes a viral series as opposed to just a random video. People have to relate to it. And in this case, shampoo in your hair, Unless you're bold, most people are interested. And if you're bold, you're probably interested because you're living vicariously through whoever that person is, because you don't have hair. And then finally, can I make it fun to watch? This is all in the editing process with a good story. If it matches all three of these, it's probably gonna perform well as a viral series on TikTok. So the no shampoo video, that actually started because of my wife. Yeah. And by the way, I'm using this description because my son found this RC car in my closet, but I didn't think I had the battery charger for. We were playing with it yesterday, he loved it, and then it gave me the idea that the few pieces that come together make this function. I thought that was quite smart, Oliver. Now, I started this video just over a year ago now, and I definitely fell out of love with it, just repeating the same thing again and again. But I have seven or eight videos worth of footage and all of it is archived away. No, it's not. But I've been through so many different systems to archive away my footage and I thought I'd show you a little bit of that. So here I just have a... S focus. So here I just have a single folder which is horribly organized. This was back before I implemented a system that was more like this, where everything is broken down by camera and then I have clips that I need to edit, clips that have been edited, edited. These are more like things to be posted. And then of course a template folder here. But as we go into this washing hair one, I have one Final Cut Pro folder, which is my editing suite, if you want to call it that, just where I edit all of my videos. Duda, We've got some guys working on the back of our house today. It's an embarrassment. And now I'm having a crazy anxiety concern that I should have gotten shots before so we can see what it looks again like after. But it's too late now because they started early. So I wrote out a script the other day on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. And I didn't start working on it because I wasn't sure exactly the direction I wanted to go. There's so much that has happened in the last 365 days, it's more like 400 or so now, that I'm not sure how much, what are the most important details. I think, I don't know what I think. See, I'm going across this line between what is the most entertaining and what is the most useful stuff to know for someone that may want to do this too, because that's the kind of what I'm doing this for. Like, I want to be truthful in what my experience was without disclosing far too much that it becomes uninteresting. So let's do a bit of editing and see what comes of this. So redoing, I can't see anything. All of this down here just looks awful. And then down here, all this is going to be lifted up, moving through here, and then through here, and some like stones down through there. And then we're going to redo all up the side of here as well. Like, look at all of this. Nasty. I went one year no poo to see if human hair could naturally clean itself, so. But by 300 days and many more natural remedies. Is it all right with the. Oh, better. A bit orange. All right, so as I was finishing that TikTok, the edit, I got an email saying that the four steps to getting my failed merch line back to here, I had to create the manual order, submit the close order, which is all done. And now I've just received an email. E I said that weirdly, didn't I? Email? Because the package is too big just to ship with like UPS or something, I have to find a, oh my gosh, it's almost half a ton. And they charged me a thousand dollars to pick the items. That's crazy, given all of it was in boxes. That's crazy. I'm asking about that because that's not, I want to see the details on that. Because I reckon, because there's like 900 socks or something and like 100 bottles, I reckon they've charged to pick them one by one. And that's not what they told me. They told me they could pick in boxes. So if they're in a box, pick those. And there's no way 900 and something socks were just lying around. That's BS. 
speaker road, like speaker is in like a subwoofer speaker. And that'd be a lot less. This is the best quote, then I'll come back to you. Thank you. He changed the quote, I don't know, like six or seven times, kept knocking stuff off and redoing it. I don't know what he was taking off and adding on, but I did learn that they were charging, I don't know if this is standard, like $180 for a, for, for a drop off at a house. That seems wild, doesn't it? But honestly, my two options here are drive to go and pick it up myself. Bearing in mind, this is half a ton and 40 by 48 by 65. I don't really understand how big that is, but I imagine it's quite big. 279 to get that delivered. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, it's a lot of money still, but for how much it is. Okay, so the two questions I had for the fulfillment center, which this whole time I've had this like sneaky feeling something's not quite right. Not that I feel like someone's stolen anything, but two of the products are missing. They've like partially picked them, so they're no longer there. And what that means is that's what they've counted as having in their system. But now they have one less of a few items. And I'm just meant to be okay with that? No. Then the other thing, over like a period of time, I have gotten more used to dealing with that conflict like head on, not in a confrontational sense, but just this is wrong, let's sort it. And then the pick fee, yeah, went from being like $480 to pick all of the items to $1,072. I'll let you know how the video is doing on TikTok. It's doing better on Instagram at the moment, or is it starting to fly now? Yes, it is. I just saw lots of extra comments and followers come through. Oh my gosh, it's gone up by about 7k in the last since I started recording this because I checked it before and then on Instagram 12k and it's only been up for an hour so doing pretty well I'll link it below if you want to go and watch it next I need to order oh this is a really annoying thing and I, I find this really annoying across my job as a whole doing this is that remember I tried to print off the uh, images I was going to use for the slingshot to shoot at did all that work and then the printer stopped working it's broken somehow so I was going to go in and get a new one and at the same time, I was doing or working on some type of partnership with Heart Tools. And in their system, I noticed like they use this system where lots of brands can come in, post their campaigns, and then someone can apply for them. So while I know I need to order a new printer, and I'm about to, I see that there's an Epsom are running a campaign, which would be perfect. So I've applied for it. I've tried messaging the person, sent them like a, a nice pitch video the way I do. Uh, nothing back yet, and it's been about a week or so. But I think I'm just gonna go and get the printer anyway. Like I, I need to stop these small things. Like $200 in the grand scheme of a potential partnership is really not that much to invest in my opinion. And I need to get over this barrier of like, well, that's $200 that you might not have to spend. So I need a printer. What am I searching for? Oh, I need one of the printers that are in this. So here's, here's my criteria. I don't know if they're wanting to do the same printer because I know that that one is more expensive annoyingly. But this is what I, used for the application. So I know it's Epsom Evergreen and their Eco Tank. Let's see how much the ET, oh, that's quite cool, 200. You do that one, unfortunately. Order done, and now I'm gonna finish off a video that I'm making for Sporting KC. It's from the, oh, what's it called? Actually, from when I went to the watch party in downtown. Yes, that's what I need to finish off and send over to them, see if they like it, hope they like it. Night night. Just thought I'd let you know how the video is doing. It's now at 22,000. That was like 10 minutes ago with that. This is crazy. No, 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 before I end, I'm actually gonna say, I was having a chat with my wife the other day and I've been really trying to understand what I'm really doing on social media, like how am I making videos, do I have any strategy? And I came to this realization that there doesn't need to be a strategy. Like I've gotten to a place where I can make videos that I enjoy making and they do well. I just enjoy making them, I'll just keep enjoy making them and forget about if the videos that I know aren't gonna get millions of views don't get millions of views. Forget about the numbers. And so this video, I added in like the sound effects and the kind of the dramatization side of it. Not like over the top, but enough to where I enjoyed editing it and making it. And it's showing that it's doing well. So I love it when a plan comes together. 